This one right there will, right? So let's use that one to find the final velocity. Okay? So. Yeah? Okay? Plug those numbers in. You do this right now. It's boring as crap to watch me do it, so you do it. Okay? You plug in the numbers uh, for VI and 2 and A and X. Notice that both A and X are negative, so this thing is actually a positive number. And then once you do that, square root it. I'm having a hard time with this. I've gotten the wrong answer twice in a row. I'm helpful. Oh, there we go. Uh, if you got 40.3, you didn't square the 85.932. That was my second try. If you got 39.22, you forgot the VI squared initially. <laughs> 94.46 or something like that. Yeah, that's what I get. Right? So. So this looks like, this calculation looks like this, square root left parenthesis, 85.932 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times negative 78.5, right parenthesis, right parenthesis. Yeah? Try that, just try that so that you get, I got 94.46. Yeah. Now remember, remember that really the final velocity, the absolute value is 94.46, which means that the final velocity could be negative, positive 94.46 or negative 94.46, right? Has everybody gotten 94.46? You get your calculator to say that? Okay. Now. We just took the square root of a square, which means that the original number could have been negative, could have been positive, correct? Okay, so which one, is, which one makes sense? When we hit the ground, are we going up or are we going down? Down, there we go. So I'm going to put the minus 94.461, right? I'm going to put the negative in there because I know it's going down. This will make all the difference, okay? And then finally, how can we find time now? What's the best one for finding time? Yeah, either one. My favorite one is the first one. But it doesn't matter. You use the second one, I'll use the first one. We should get the same answer, shouldn't we? I'm thinking. And if we don't, then we've discovered we'll get a Nobel Prize because we found a flaw in the basic kinematic formulas. Right? Everybody's doing stuff like quantum physics and dark energy and stuff. And we find something right on page one. Right? I'm going to do this calculation. I'm going to do it right over here in this space. Be careful how you do your math or you'll end up with the wrong answer. Right? You've got to put the minus 94.461. Okay, so that guy divided by 9.8. You end up with something like 180, negative 180 divided by 9.8. It's in the air for such a long time. I got 18.407 seconds. Do you get 18 seconds and some change? You get 19 seconds? So this, this guy's 94. 4.46, not 99.46. That's 85.932. That's 9.8. You might have turned one of my like fours into a nine or something like that. People do that. 
Are we good? Did everybody get something like 18 seconds? Holy crap. <laughs> 18 seconds in the air. Like, you could almost cook an egg. No, you couldn't. That's a long time. Yeah, but we're shooting it at 126 meters per second, which is like 400 feet per second or something like that, right? That's pretty fast. You know? We're almost there, right? We have almost, we've almost answered the question, right? We've already answered how long is it in the air, right? So go ahead, how do you figure out this uh, horizontal velocity, or I'm sorry, horizontal distance? You'd, you'd do this times this? Yeah, exactly, right? So we're going to use this formula, x is vit plus one half at squared, right? But the acceleration is zero, so this guy goes away, and it ends up being 92.151 times 18.407. So that times 92.151. Wow, that's a long way. That's like 1.7 kilometers. <laughs> I get 1696. And if you round it a little bit more than me, you're going to be a little bit off. This is three digits, four digits, so if you're off in that last digit, that's not such a big deal. If what you get rounds to 1700, you're about right. We have about two digits here, two or three digits. So, that's not so hard. Is that hard? No. So you can, if you can't remember this, of course you can put this on your cheat sheet and if I give you some problem with a, a clip or something like that, then, you know. There it is. All right.